We're here at Huawei's Global Mobile Broadband Forum in London, and I'm delighted to be joined by the Director General of the GSMA, Matt Granred. Matt, welcome. Thank you very much, Justin. It's a great pleasure to be here. Thanks again for joining us. So 2018 has been a pivotal year for the mobile industry. Um, so much so we've actually seen the first launch of a commercial 5G network in the industry. What's your assessment of where we are today, Matt? Clearly, uh, operators are now launching. They're launching trials. US, as you mentioned, are, are, is one of the 5G pioneers, together with Japan, South Korea, UAE, mm -hmm. and China as well. They will all be launching 5G networks from now, basically, to 2020. And then, of course, there will be a whole floor of countries uh, launching right after. Yeah, in terms of the services, I mean, you mentioned the, the fixed element there as well. But if we look at purely mobile, what are some of the exciting services you think 5G might enable? What's out there? Well, obvious things is uh, uh, mobile IoT. I mean, we will be able to have much more connections on a 5G network. We will have much higher speed and lower latency. I think that is given. I think we will see more industrial applications, again back to the IoT, but also applications uh, through network slicing that will be able to dedicate resources. Now this is a couple of years out in time, not right now, but 2022, 2025, uh, where we'll be able to dedicate resources to a plant or a factory and basically be able to say that this is a given capacity. Your keynote this morning focused on the topic of intelligent connectivity. In fact, I believe that's a theme of yeah. next year's Mobile World Congress yeah. as well, Max. Give us a little bit of insight into to what, what you mean by intelligent yeah. connectivity. Now, I think intelligent connectivity is made up of two parts. The connectivity bit, which is of course 5G and IoT. That gives us the reach. And the intelligence bit comes from big data and artificial intelligence. Now if you combine these four, uh, or, or two, connectivity and intelligence into to something, we call that intelligent connectivity. And we mean is what we mean with it is the fact that not only will you have a much broader connectivity, it's going to be truly ubiquitous. Everything that benefits from being connected will always be connected. Not today as, as, as a default, but it will always be connected. That is the default. But we will couple that with intelligence, which means that things will become smarter. We will have more of my virtual assistant, Avi. We will have more of things that will help us in our daily life to make our life more comfortable, more productive, more safe, uh, etc. Um, 17 SDGs, yeah. I, I know that mobile is trying very hard to, to impact a number yeah. of those. Uh, yeah. What's your assessment so far of how the industry is getting on supporting those goals? Well, we are supporting them very well, all 17, and we're doing progress on all 17 to a various degree. The, uh, one of the biggest one is, is education, number four, where we have done a lot of good progress. Gender equality, number five, is another one. But good health and well-being, number three, is also uh, tracking very well. Uh, sustainable cities, uh, climate action, number 13, is one of the, the uh, targets that we are affecting the most. Mm -hmm. We are roughly, broadly, at 40% of the maximum, theoretical maximum that we can do. So we've done 40%, we have another 60% to go, broadly speaking, mm -hmm. if I take all 17. So I would say that we're doing okay. Matt, pleasure as always talking with you. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank, Thank you, you, Justin.